All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go beyond the basics a little bit, and I'll show you how to share, how to embed, how to play with some of these options, and give you some ideas for using VoiceThread in your classroom. All right, so let's get straight to it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on Share. The really uh, main important spot here is to uh, look at this button right here, which is Get a Link. The other two, if you have the school-wide version, we have contacts that you've developed over WordStud, you can share in that way. But mainly here you'll be using this button. Whenever you uh, click that button, you're going to have anyone to view or to comment. If you don't want people to comment, you uncheck it. Um, of course you want them to view it if you're going to uh, send it out. So you would keep that checked. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look down here. You can also moderate the comments, um, which is a good feature and show on the browse page which would put it in the gallery that I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to click here, copy the link and what that does is it copies the link and then you're ready to share it. So you can send it in an email, you can post it on a website um, and you can have a clickable link for them to go to. Alright, uh, I also want to look down here and show you some of these options. If I click on playback options, uh, this is where the transitions are. So whenever you start your voice thread uh, this is how long it will take for the seconds or for the slides to turn. Right now it's set at four. If you want it longer or shorter, you can change it there. You can click whether or not you want it to start playing when it's when it's opened, whether or not you want it to show full screen, allow people to export, and allow them to make a copy. You also want to click here on these publishing options um, for your voice thread allow people to view, allow people to comment, again moderate comments or show on the browse page. Uh, these are important to change and to save if you're going to embed your file, uh, which I'll show you in just a second here. Um, but if you're going to embed your file, you need to have them be able to view and to comment for the embed to work. So this is your first step. Alright, I want to show you uh, how to embed this voice thread where you can take it and put it right into a website click on embed and there's lots of choices here if you want to link it to your Twitter account you can share it that way you can share it on Facebook you can share it in all these different ways uh, this is just the link again uh, that we got before but this right here is the embed code this is the code you actually copy and paste into your site one thing I do want you to notice here is like like all embed code it's got some things buried in it that you can use to your advantage if you want to most importantly here is the height and the width the default is 480 by 360. If you want it to be bigger, whenever you paste it, um, you can change those values to be bigger, and that way it will be a larger embed into your site. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All right, uh, so you click on the embed code. It automatically copies it. Hit Done. I'm going to come over here to Weebly, which is another uh, tool in my book and another thing I've got videos on on the site under Website Creators. And any, the embed code is going to work on anywhere that you can embed. So it can work on a website creator like Weebly. It can work on a blog like KidBlog. It can work on anywhere that allows you to embed code. All you're going to do is take that and you're going to paste it in here. This is the point where if you'd like to, you can change um, some of the height and the width right here. I'm not going to change it. Uh, so you can see how it embeds into the site just like that so people can play it right off your site. Another thing I want to show you, one last thing in VoiceThread, is I want to show you some ideas. There's, there's a really cool little spot little spot that they've added here. Um, ideas for using VoiceThread. If you click it, it'll open up a new window and you can have lots of different ideas of how people are using VoiceThreads. Um, here's one seventh grade radio advertisements, book reviews, second graders playing iSpy, that's a really cool idea. Um, but there's some really cool innovative things that are out there and it can kind of spark your own ideas if you go ahead and look at them. Once you click on them, it will actually take you to that voice thread so you can actually see what they're doing. Alright, so that is uh, beyond the basics of voice thread. Um, how to get them created, how to get them started, uh, how to share them, how to save them, and uh, how to use that with your kids. It's a really cool tool. It's a really neat way to bring the class together and to have conversations about a common theme or a document or a picture. Mm -hmm.